A show once known for its no-frills, soothing consistency, has been dogged by controversy and drama. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Jeopardy controversies. I mean, there's a lot of things going on, and as a host, you really feel challenged to make sure you can achieve a little bit of what Alex Trebek did for all those years. What is Ohio State University? Right, you got it as well. This is Jeopardy! For this list, we're looking at the biggest public scandals that have afflicted the game show throughout its run. Do any of these bother you? Let it out in the comments. But please, in the form of a question. Number 10. The Feud with Fleming While Jeopardy! will forever be linked with Alex Trebek, the original host was a man named Art Fleming. Hello, here's the star of Jeopardy! Art Fleming! Good morning, thank you players, thank you Don Pardo! And he hated what the show eventually became. Fleming hosted Jeopardy! from 1964 until its first cancellation in 75. He was asked to return for the revival, but declined for a variety of reasons. The main one was the production's move from New York to Los Angeles, a move that Fleming resented as he thought the L.A. setting made for a dumber show. I don't think that's going to happen today, even with the three best players we've ever had. As he once stated, quote, In California, there's no mental stimulation. He hated the supposed ease of the revival's questions and the glamorous production values, and he also disagreed with Trebek's assertions that Jeopardy! has educational value, calling it, quote, basically fluff. All I can say is thank you for the continued support and good wishes. Number 9. Wimbledon Both the oldest and the most prestigious tennis tournament in the world, Wimbledon has been held every year since 1877. But despite its long history and popularity, people still mispronounce it as Wimbledon. Unfortunately, this came back to bite contestant Reed Rogers in the behind. In 1884, Maud Watson won the first women's singles tennis competition at this British venue. Reed, what is Wimbledon? Yes. Rogers was awarded $400 for his answer, but Trebek later deducted the money instead, pointing out that Rogers had mispronounced it. I'm informed that you very clearly said Wimbledon, not Wimbledon a few moments ago, so you're losing 800 bucks. Many people were not happy with the decision, both because Rogers had the right venue in mind and because Wimbledon is a common mispronunciation in North America. But rules are rules, and Rogers was courteous in accepting the punishment. But you can still risk up to a thousand. Well, that's what I'd like to do. Number eight, Trebek shaves his mustache. It's not often that someone's facial hair becomes a national icon on its own, but Alex Trebek's mustache proved the exception. Trebek sported a rockin' stash from 1984 to 2001 when he decided to shave it off on a whim. What he couldn't foresee was the shocked reaction of the nation. Trebek's shaving became headline news around the country, and the popular host did not care for it. He told New Republic, quote, It got so much press, I couldn't believe it. People are all in a stew over my mustache. I have one response, get a life. He also stated in an interview with the Archive of American Television that he was, quote, appalled by the reaction. Let us know what you think via Facebook or Twitter and we'll make a decision in the next few weeks. Number 7. Culturally Insensitive Answers Back in April of 2021, the producers of Jeopardy! were criticized by over 200 previous contestants, who had signed a collective and public letter accusing them of fostering culturally insensitive answers. The problem arose when a contestant gave an answer that is considered a pejorative by the Romani people. The Hungarian symbolom is traditionally associated with the music of this itinerant people. The term has been historically regarded as a racial slur, and the previous contestants were not happy with its inclusion. Within the letter, they called the answer a, quote, ignorant reply, and asked the producers to hire a, quote, sensitivity and diversity auditor to prevent similar controversies from occurring in the future. You remain our Jeopardy! champion. Congratulations. Number 6. The Easy Final Clue The final clue is always a unique one, and is often distinguished by its difficulty and clever wording. For many, the final clues are often the most challenging. But that was not the case for the episode airing on July 6, 2021. In 2019, this public university attempted to trademark the word the for use on clothing and hats. The final clue was regarding the Ohio State University's infamous attempt at trademarking the word the for use on its merchandise. What is the Ohio State University? That is the correct response. This was big news back in 2019, and many fans thought that prevalent media coverage made the answer far too easy. 
Vocal and angry critics took to social media to lambaste the writers. What is the Ohio State University? Everyone got it? Number five, no one knows Lincoln. 2021 was probably the worst year on record for the beloved game show. Amidst all the scandals and easy questions, some contestants couldn't identify one of the most popular quotations in the English language, and it left some viewers livid. In an episode hosted by Mayim Bialik, a quotations question asked for the source of the famous quote, Government of the people, by the people, for the people, is from the end of this brief but powerful speech. Unfortunately, none of the three contestants knew that it comes from Abraham Lincoln's Gettysburg Address. What is the Gettysburg Address? Robin, choose again. Viewers quickly flocked to social media to voice their dissatisfaction with the contestants, and it made for quite a nasty night for Jeopardy. Thanks to the great gameplay of all three of you. Number four. Watson's win. From February 14th through the 16th, 2011, supercomputer Watson played and handily defeated the legendary champions Ken Jennings and Brad Rutter. Unfortunately, some critics took issue with the win owing to Watson's unfair advantage. Watson, who is Franz Liszt? You are right. What is violin? Good. Who is the church lady? Yes. Rather than hearing and understanding the questions in real time through voice recognition software, Watson was given the questions through ASCII text. It knew the answer before Trebek was even finished, whereas Rudder and Jennings were still processing the wording and thinking about their responses. Same category, 1600. Answer, very double. Watson was therefore immediately ready with the buzz in. And it was this inhumanly quick reaction time, and not that it knew more than the human players, that allowed it to win. I, for one, welcome our new computer overlord. <laughs> <laughs> Number three, Arthur Chu. With an 11-game winning streak throughout the winter of 2014, Arthur Chu is arguably the most controversial Jeopardy! champion of the decade. Well, the gerrymander is... I know. Okay. That's uh, one of those weird things okay. about our language. Some viewers hated his gameplay strategy, which included bouncing around the board, picking high-value clues first, and hunting for daily doubles. Others were irritated by how close he held the buzzer to the microphone, resulting in audible clicks. Still more were upset that he interrupted Alex Trebek to get to the next clue. Taking to social media to vent their outrage, viewers dubbed him the Jeopardy villain, a moniker he embraced. I think a lot of it is in jest, and I don't mind, you know, being the heel, as they call it, in wrestling, waiting for someone to take me down. Number two, the Mike Richards fiasco. This TV producer is essentially the modern-day Icarus. In 2020, Richards was named the new executive producer of Jeopardy, taking over for the retiring Harry Friedman. It was very literally at the last minute that the decision was made for me to step in and just keep the show going. He then served as one of the guest hosts following Trebek's death and was eventually announced as the new permanent host. This was met with hostility by the fan base. Not only did they see it as a power grab, but Richards was marred by previous controversies, including a wrongful termination lawsuit it was quickly revealed that Richards had made numerous inappropriate comments in the past, and he immediately stepped down as permanent host. The announcement ends the saga of controversy around Richards, but still leaves Jeopardy! without a permanent public face. As if the juicy drama couldn't get any juicier, he was fired from his role as executive producer just a few days later. Mike Richards is now out of that role less than two weeks after stepping down as the new Jeopardy! host. Welcome to Jeopardy! Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Ken Jennings We all knew that finding a replacement for Alex Trebek would be difficult, but we didn't think it would be this marred in controversy. You know, sharing this stage with Alex Trebek was one of the greatest honors of my life. Many people were excited for Ken Jennings' brief tenure as host, but this was quickly stymied when past tweets resurfaced. The offensive statements caused some bewilderment within the fan base, and Jennings admitted to writing, quote, some unartful and insensitive things. And in the midst of the Mike Richards fiasco, the Wall Street Journal declared that it was these past tweets that cost Jennings the permanent hosting job. I know from experience, H&R Block is sometimes the right answer. But not today, I'm afraid. Not only did it cause unwanted controversy for the studio, which is ironic given the Richards situation, but focus groups reportedly weren't thrilled about Jennings after the ordeal. Honestly, 
I'm with the audience. I don't want me out here. I want to see Alex out here. I know exactly how they feel when they see anybody else. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.